ഓം ശ്രീ സായിറാം പ്രീവിയസ് ക്ലാസ് വി ഹാവ് സ്റ്റഡീഡ് അബൌട്ട് ഇലക്ട്രിക് പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽ ഡിഫറൻസ് ഇലക്ട്രിക് കറണ്ട് ആൻഡ് സർക്കിറ്റ് ഡയഗ്രാം നൗ ഇൻ ദിസ് ക്ലാസ് സം ഓഫ് ദ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് കോമ്പനൻസ് വിച്ച് ഈസ് യൂസ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഇലക്ട്രിക്കൽ സർക്കിറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് സിമ്പിൾസ് ഇസ് ഷോൺ ഇൻ ദ ടേബിൾ സം ഓഫ് ദ components for example electric cell a battery plug key these are the different components and its symbols this is a symbol of an electric cell it is represented by this is the simple representation of a electric cell this is the positive terminal this is the negative terminal then this is a symbol of a battery what is the difference between a battery and a cell cell means it is a single but battery means it is a combination of cells for example this is a battery why it is called battery because it is a combination of cells the many cells they are com combine to form a battery so this is a battery after that this this is a symbol of plug key in plug key there are two types given one is open and another one is closed the difference is this is the plug key it is open open means the circuit is open the current does not flow through the circuit that is plug key open it is also called switch then plug key closed this is a representation of plug key closed what is the difference between open and close close mean circuit is closed it means current will flow through that circuit then wire joint the symbol of wire joint this is the symbol of wire joint how this is a wire a it is connected to another wire it is joined together this is the representation of a wire joint this is a wire a this is wire b two wires are connected each other this is the representation next is wire crossing without joining this is the joining now without joining this is the a wire it is joined without joining and passing through one wire this is the representation so wires crossing without joining now electric bulb this is the representation of electric bulb then a resistor of resistance the symbol of a resistor of resistance is this is the symbol what do you mean by resistance the resistance means which resist the flow of electricity that is called resistance now what is the difference between resistance and resistor there is a difference between resistor and resistance the device which resist the current means it is a resistor then what is resistance which resist the flow of electricity is called resistance so this is a resistor has resistance r after that rheostat this is the representation of rheostat this is the representation of rheostat rheostat what is the use of this component in the electric circuit rheostat which change the resistance of the circuit we can change every time change the resistance of the circuit this is the use of rheostat then ammeter this is the representation of ammeter what is the use of ammeter which measure the electric current or strength of the electric current in the circuit next type is voltmeter voltmeter what is the use of this voltmeter this is the representation it measure the potential difference of the electric circuit so these are the different components and its symbols symbol of a electric cell this is a symbol of an electric cell this is a symbol of an of a battery this is a symbol of a plug key then this is a symbol of plug key it is closed it is a symbol of wire joint then this is a symbol of wires crossing without joining it is a symbol of electric bulb and this is a symbol of resistor of resistance this is a symbol of rheostat and this is a symbol of ammeter and this is a symbol of voltmeter next topic is ohms law which deals with the the relationship between potential difference and electric current what is the relation between potential difference and electrical current 
to study ohm's law they given a electric circuit for studying ohm's law this is the circuit for studying ohm's law this electric circuit which con contains this is a battery we know that combination of cells so it is a battery then one resistor has resistance r then emitter then key also the voltmeter which is parallel parallel connection between voltmeter and resistor i already told what is resistor in this circuit nichrome wire used as a resistor nichrome wire also a resistor which resist the flow of electric current yes every good conductor it is also a it is also resist the flow of electric current so it is also behave as a resistor in this the nichrome wire used as a resistor then emitter key this is the connection how they are connected in the electrical circuit positive terminal of a battery which is connected to one terminal or x terminal of the resistor then another terminal it means the y terminal which connected to emitter the positive terminal of a emitter then negative terminal of a battery negative terminal of a emitter which connected to a key another terminal of key which is connected to negative terminal of a battery then there is a parallel connection between resistor and voltmeter this is the setup this is the circuit for studying ohms law now i already prepared one circuit yes now this is a electric circuit for studying ohms law i have prepared one circuit for studying ohms law now this is a voltmeter emitter then it is called coil what is coil instead of nichrome wire in the circuit in our textbook given a circuit nichrome wire is used as a resistor but now i have used coil the coil has a resistance it is also a resistor its resistance is 0.5 ohm because why it is ohm the si unit of resistor is resistance is ohm so 0.5 ohm then this is called rheostat this one is called rheostat what is the use of this rheostat rheostat which change the resistance of the circuit we can change the resistance of the circuit if we if the resistance change means the flow of electric current current also changes in the circuit why the resistance means what the resistance means it resist the flow of electricity now this is called battery or battery eliminator what is why it is called battery eliminator eliminator means it change ac current into dc current not only change ac into dc convert 220 volt into 2 4 5 6 8 volts so this is battery eliminator now switch on the battery always switch on the battery and um, after reading the trials switch off the battery why we have to continuously switch off the battery because for ohms law the constant temperature is required why what is constant temperature if continuously current flows in the circuit means there is a resistance from that resistance heat is produced that heat change the temperature of the circuit so for this ohms law experiment it requires constant temperature now switch on the battery then set the current using rheostat because rheostat means it is a it is used to change the resistance of the circuit so using a rheostat change the resistance and set the current in emitter is 0.2 ampere just look at this 0.2 ampere what is the measure in voltmeter it is 0.1 volt this is 0.2 emitter and this one is 0.1 volt now switch off and write the reading current through the nichrome wire is 0.2 ampere and potential difference across the nichrome wire is 0.1 volt now once again switch on the circuit set the current 0.4 ampere 0.4 ampere 0.4 ampere what is the voltage in the voltmeter you see it is 0.2 
Now current through the nichrome wire is 4.4 ampere and potential difference is 0.2 volt. Now once again switch on the battery, adjust the current using a rheostat, make it as 0 0.6, 0 0.6 ampere. This is 0 0.6 ampere. What about current 0.6 ampere? What is the potential difference? It is 0 0.3. It is 0 0.3. Now, change the resistance and set the current 1 ampere. One, 1 ampere in ammeter, what about in voltmeter? It is 0.5. So, 1 ampere, then it is 0.5 volt. Now, we finished the practical. From Ohm's law or Ohm's law practical, we get the readings. These are the readings. Current through the nichrome wire is 0.2 ampere. In that time, what is the potential difference across the nichrome wire is 0.1 volt. When it is 0.4 ampere current, then it is 0.2 volt. 0.6 ampere, then it is 0.3 volt. 1 ampere, it means 0.5 volt. So, this is the reading from we get from the Ohm's law practical. Now, just what is the relationship between current through the nichrome wire and potential difference across the nichrome wire? If you look at the readings, now look at the current 0.2 ampere, 0.4 ampere, 0.6 ampere, 1 ampere. The current is increased or decreased? Current is decreased. The strength of the current is decreased. Electric current increased. It is not decreased. It is increased. So, in the circuit, the current is increased from 0 0.2 to 1 ampere. Now, look at the reading. The potential difference across the nichrome wire. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 volt. It is also increased. It is also increased. Now, from this we conclude, if current through the nichrome wire is increased means the potential difference across the nichrome wire, it is also increased when at constant temperature. This is called Ohm's law. This is called Ohm's law. If current is increased, so potential difference also increased. When it is increased, it is increased at constant temperature. This is called Ohm's law. So, Ohm's law states that at constant temperature current through the conductor nichrome wire or conductor it is directly proportional to potential difference across the nichrome wire now i use the word directly proportional what is directly proportional and another thing uh, inversely proportional what is the difference between directly and inversely if there are two factors if one factor is increased then another factor also increased means it is direct proportional. If it is increased, then another one also increased. If it is decreased, another factor also decreased means it is direct proportional. What about inversely proportional? Inversely proportional. If one factor is increased and another factor is decreased. So, opposite of direct proportional. Now, current is increased voltage also increase so it is direct proportional so what is ohm's law at constant temperature current through the conductor is direct proportional to potential difference of the conductor this is called ohm's law from ohm's law we can write current potential difference is directly proportional to current electric current or v equal to equal symbol instead of Proportional symbol, we have to add one constant that is R. Ah, what is R in this case? This is a resistance. This is resistance. Or we write R equal to V by I. Now look at the derivation. What is R? The resistance. This is a constant. R equal to V by I. So V by I equal to constant. Can we calculate from this tabulation? Yes. V by I. What is V here? 0.1 volt divided by 0.2 this is 1 by 2 1 by 2 means 
0.5 then 0 0.4 0 0.2 by 0 0.4 what we get it is also 2 by 4 means it is 0.5 now third trial 0 0.3 by 0.6 we get 3 by 6 equal to 0.5 then 0.5 divided by 1 equal to 0.5 ohm it is all ohm because the SI unit of resistance is ohm 0.5 ohm 0.5 ohm 0.5 ohm 0.5 ohm so V by I is always constant the same value it does not change the 0.5 ohm so it is correct so R that constant is V by I because V by I is same value same value means the constant constant what is the meaning of constant constant means its value does not change its value does not change so r equal to v by i from this what is the si unit of resistance this is ohm so 1 ohm voltage its si unit is volt so 1 volt then i means current 1 ampere now tell me the resistance of the circuit is 1, one ohm what is the meaning of resistance of the circuit is 1 ohm? The resistance of the circuit 1, one ohm means in that circuit 1 ampere of current which flows and its potential difference. The potential difference of 2 amps is 1 volt. This is the meaning of 1 ohm resistance. So resistance and resistors. From we can write what is I? I equal to V by R. So, these are very important formulas V equal to Ri or R equal to V by I or I equal to V by R. These are the different formulas. Now, tell me what is the relationship between resistance and electric current? There is any relationship between these two? Yes. If resistance is high means the current flow through the circuit is less. So, they are inversely proportional each other. The resistance and the electric current which is inversely proportional if current flowing through a circuit if it is doubled means the resist the resistance of a circuit is doubled means the current flow the flow through flow through the circuit is halved so it becomes less this is the uh, difference but this is the relationship between electric current and resistance now what is good conductor when we say it is a good conductor it allow the current easily the conductor which allow the current easily means it is a good conductor if it is a good conductor means its resistance is very less so in this class we have studied ohm's law the different symbols of different components the resistance and its si unit resistor and good conductor sairam